Hello everyone, welcome to The Rebirth, and after I finish this game, The Reaper. These are two mini-adventure games created as part of a competition of some sort. Not exactly sure what the competition is, but I'll have a link in the description to it. It's completely free and you can find more information about who made them and where they came from. But anyway, The Rebirth, this is the first one. Let's get to it. And by the way, I started up just to make sure it runs fine as usual, and it seems to not have any sound. I don't know if that's just the way it was intended, or if it's a bug, I don't know. But the other one does have sound. But this one doesn't seem to. Anyway, let's go. Oh, yes, yes I know. I called and made all the necessary arrangements. Well, of course they know what they're doing. They're a hospital. Darling, look, I need to get some work done. I'll call you on my lunch break. And please, for your sake, for your sake and the babies, calm down. You're not due for another two weeks. Let's not inadvertently rush the proceedings. Yes, yes, I know. I love you too. Goodbye. As pathetic as it may be, sometimes I long for simpler times. Sir, have you heard the news? I'm afraid not. I've been a bit preoccupied with some personal dealings. What's going on? Come see for yourself. Ooh, surprises! I like surprises. Let me guess, the world's ending. Isn't it amazing? They're finally signing a peace treaty. That means the war's over. Hmm. I'll believe it when I see it. But you are seeing it. Don't be a naive, boy. This war's been going on since before you were born. This isn't the first peace treaty they've signed. The minute peace is no longer convenient, we'll just be back to square one. Now please, stop wasting time watching that silly news station. Let's try and get some work done. Yes, sir. And to think, I'm about to bring a child into this world. It makes you wonder exactly what. What in God's name was that? And okay, yes, this game does have sound. The emergency shutters are down, that's not a good sign. No, it's not, and this game's way too loud. Hold on a second. Do, 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 set that to 20... There we go. What's going on? The door's all slammed down, and we lost TV reception. It appears the building is under lockdown. I thought I heard an explosion, too. Oh god, do you think we're being attacked? Calm yourself, the last thing I need is for you to panic. Get back to work, and I'll try and figure out what's going on. <laughs> really? Get back to work? Is he really going to be able to get back to work? When it looks like they're being attacked? Yes, sir. Fantastic. I'm trapped in the office with an overexcitable child. There has to be some way of finding out what's happening on the outside. Okay. Decanter. Alcohol. A glass decanter, believe it or not, I found it under a bench in Ravenswood Park. Normally I wouldn't touch such filth, but something about it just drew me to it. I don't touch it, it's purely decorative. Uh, things aren't looking very good, but this is no time to indulge. Several balls of various types of alcohol, most of them received as gifts over the years. I rarely entertain in my office, but they come in handy when I do. Oh, I thought you were going to say the alcohol is ornamental too. Just like the chair. It's not a real chair, it's just made out of tape and gum, and when you sit in it, it falls apart. Painting. Lady Twiner. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by oh shit. Uh, this is the original I purchased at an auction a few years back, worth every last cent. Sorry, what did that say? By Montgomery White, okay. I'll only take it down if absolutely necessary. Telephone? Is that... Yeah, telephone. Standard office telephone. It's no use. The line's shut off as soon as the building goes into lockdown. 
I need to find a way outside to get a mobile signal. Antique radio. It's an antique radio from the early 20th century. Cost me quite a bit, but was worth it. Amazingly, it still works. They just don't make technology like this anymore. Unconfirmed reports of an explosion in the downtown area. Casualties are not known at this time, but are estimated to be in the hundreds. Please keep your radios tuned to this station for more information as we receive it, as television broadcast satellites have been affected. Dear God. I need to call Livia and find out if she's alright. Vases, my collection of priceless oriental vases. Whoever said money can't buy happiness clearly wasn't familiar with the joys of Chinese ceramics. Are you serious? These Chinese ceramics bring you joy? Really? Okay. If you say so, bust one of my more prized possessions, a bust of the Emperor Tiberius. Roman history truly fascinates me. Well, that makes one of us. May Tiberius' wisdom guide me in this time of trouble. I don't even know who that is. Alright, I need to find a way to get outside so I can get a signal. Nothing but static. Assistant. My assistant. He hasn't been working for me very long. He looks somewhat concerned. Can't say I blame him. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't say I blame him either. There's an explosion, and the building's in lockdown. i say that's a pretty good reason to freak out. I just realized, my mouse cursor is the same as what's on this poster. What is that? Well, fight for your freedom, Oceanic Republic. One of the perks of working for the government is being constantly bombarded with this patriotic nonsense. Look where it's all gotten us. Door lock. It's the door control panel. It's configured to only open with either my or my assistant's handprint. Oh, I see where this is going. I'm gonna have to cut off my assistant's hand, and then... Wait, no. Nah, that's too extreme. I'm gonna have to cut off both of his hands, and... No, okay, that's too much. I'll cut off my hand, and I'll cut off his hand, and we'll sew our hands on the opposite bodies, and... No, that's more like Frankenstein. Okay, whatever. Exit. I would say this sign is fairly self-explanatory. Okay, fair enough. Large metal security door is blocking the exit. Plant. Could this really be considered a plant? It's a clump of wires wrapped together to look like one. Yeah, it doesn't look like a plant. Oh, whoa, what was that? Oh, I actually have an inventory. Wait, did I pick up the bust? Alright, that's my mobile phone. My mobile, I don't seem to be getting any service at the moment. Bust. It's heavier than it looks. Okay, so I can smash my assistant's face. No, okay. Try to use it. I haven't gotten any service in here. The metal shutters must be affecting the signal. I need to find someplace outside where I can get reception. That button serves as manual override for the security door. Well, press it. Damn it, it's not working. Something must have caused it to short circuit. I'll need to, I'll need to get this panel open to have a look inside. Well, smashy, smashy. I can't imagine how that would work. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. So my original plan of smashing the assistant's head in still applies. Here we go. I do not wish to give this to him. Give this to him, dude. This is an adventure game. When you use an item on someone, it's a weapon. Okay. Smash! Fine. Ah. <sighs> Open the, uh, either my or my assistant's handprint. Well, use your own hand then. Let's give this thing a shot. It's not exactly. Sh I'm not exactly sure how dangerous it is out there. I should try and get out onto the balcony and call my wife before trying to leave. Okay. Why don't I talk to you? I'm afraid this is serious. Apparently, there's been some sort of explosion. Oh no. Oh, shit, I skipped that. I'm not sure it's safe anywhere right now, to be honest. Alright, what could I do? Ooh, mixer. I can't remember who gave me this mixer. I've only used it once or twice, but it makes a nice decoration. Neither time nor place to be intending bar. Ooh, bottle opener. 
We've got like a pixel hunt thing going on. Bottle opener. I've got that lying around, but rarely use it anymore. Hmm. This might be useful. Alright, I guess try this on the panel. Not exactly sure how a bottle opener would open a panel, but okay. Uh, essentially, it's just a mini crowbar. Oh, okay. Perfect. There, I managed to pry off the panel. Alright, what have we got? The exposed door controls. It definitely looks as though a fuse has blown. The problem seems to be a broken fuse. I'll remove it. Whoops. Okay. Broken fuse. <laughs> seems to be missing a connector. I honestly don't understand why the government still hasn't bothered joining the 21st century. Alright, let's see if I can get some spare parts from the antique radio. What do we need to do? Smash it open, or... Maybe just use it. <clears throat> nope. Alright, smashy smashy time. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Hmm. Well... Uh, the only place I can think of that would have a fuse would be the antique radio, but I can't seem to open it. Alcohol... Wait, what about the telephone? I mean, I don't know why that have a fuse in it, but maybe? Smashy, smashy? Nope. Pry, pry? Nope. Do you have a fuse in your pocket? Nope. Oh, this thing's made of metal wires. Uh, let me guess. That. Can I take one? I'll remove a small piece of wire. Perfect! And there. I'm no electrician, but this might just do the trick. Well, it's no longer much of a functional fuse. It's not going to protect anything, but it will work. Well, this will either result in the door opening or my getting electrocuted. Well, let us hope it's the former. So oh my god. This is unbelievable. Dear God, Livia. I think she's dead. Um, if it looks like a post-apocalyptic wasteland, uh, uh, oh my hands! What happened? If it looks like if it looks like a post-apocalyptic wasteland, shouldn't we be dead too? Uh, the middle railing was red hot from the blast you grabbed on and passed out from the pain. Oh, that's what happened. You saw it, didn't you? The giant crater outside? Someone dropped a bomb right in the middle of the city. Probably the SPA. During the signing of a peace treaty. The boldest move they've ever made. But that's not important right now. I need to get in touch with Olivia. Where's my phone? It fell out of your pocket and smashed when you fell on the balcony. God damn it. But it's no use anyway. All the telecom satellites have been disrupted by the blast too. Then I need to get out of here and get... And go to my wife. I wouldn't if I were you. It's not safe out there. Damn it, man, this is my wife, an unborn child we're talking about. I know, but they're saying casualties are in the hundreds, in the hundred thousands now, and that's just from the blast. There's still a fallout to consider. Please stop talking this instant. And why are you so calm and collected? You seemed ready to soil, soil yourself not long ago. I guess I've just accepted my fate. Well, perhaps you've given up, but I won't so easily. Sure. Excuse me, won't you? Uh... Is he gonna go kill himself? What are you, what are you doing? Okay. 
Okay, apparently he's just staring at a painting. Hmm. Anything on the radio? Nope. Alright, let's go take a look outside. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know how our building is still intact. I guess it was very strong. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Completely decimated. Alright, well I guess it's time to leave. That didn't sound good. Damn. Doesn't recognize my handprint because my palms are burnt. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, assistant, I'm gonna have to cut off your hands. Or, you know, you could walk over here if you want, but you seem kind of depressed, so I think I'm gonna have to cut off your hands. This really is a beautiful painting. Get back to work? Yeah, file that paperwork, even though the city's destroyed. I need you to open the office exit for me. Why can't you do it? It won't, it won't recognize my handprint because of the burns. Ah, bad luck. Bad luck? That's your answer? Yep. <laughs> As your direct superior, I order you to open the door. I don't think he cares. What are you doing in my office? Who do you think she was? The lady in the painting. This Lady Twiner person. Who do you think she was? Was she real? Did she have a family? Hopes? Dreams? That sort of thing? Or was she just a muse? A figment of the artist's imagination? What are you babbling about? She's lucky. People see this painting and remember her. Even if she had been wiped off the map, like we are going to be, Future generations will remember her. I sort of wish the same could be said about me. Just shut up, would you? You're giving me a headache. Alright, I guess I'll order him. <laughs> I order you to open the door even though the world may have ended. No, I don't think I will. It's dangerous out there. I have no desire to leave and I don't think you should either. Have you not been listening to me? My pregnant wife is back at my home, which is extremely close to that giant crater outside. I'm really sorry, sir, but that's hardly my problem. I refuse to endanger the both of us without good reason. Without good reason? Of all the insolence... Okay, smashy smashy. I'm going to give you one final chance to open that door for me. No. I don't want to worry about your blood on my hands by letting you go out there. Well, I'm going to have to worry about your blood on my hands. Because I'm going to smash you in the head. No, you won't. Am I the only one who seems to be understanding the gravity of this situation? The city has been destroyed. We're lucky to still be alive. And I'm not going to throw away our good fortune by going out there. Or for that matter, letting you go out there searching for your stupid wife. Why, you... Uh, uh... Oh... Okay, I... M my plan was to knock him out and use his hand... But you could also murder him. That works. Dear Lord, what have I done? You murdered the person because he pissed you off. You're a murderer. Good job. Right, let us take a little trip. Oh my god. Well, on the bright side... At least you finally made yourself useful. Is this person a fucking psychopath? Oh my god. Wow. 
created by Francisco Gonzalez for the 8th One Room, One Week competition. To be continued. Alright, that is the end of Rebirth. Now let's roll right into the Reaper. Right? Now. The Reaper. Okay, let's go. Get out of here. Shoo. Talking to animals now, Wilson. I don't want him hanging around. I haven't heard him calling out. And you know what they say about silent ravens. Uh, no, actually, what do they say? That old story about them being portents of the Reaper? You don't seriously believe that, do you? And anyway, aren't the Reaper's minions supposed to have glowing red eyes, too? I don't know what I believe, but I do know that this bird creeps me out, and I want, and I want him out of here. Go on, scram! Adorable! Okay, so I'm guessing this is a bit after... Yeah. I'm assuming this is in the same city as where the explosion happened, but a bit after? Or maybe the whole world has turned into this? I don't know. Alright. Raven. That thing creeps me out. Shoo! Little fucker. Stupid bird. Can't you just, like... I mean, it's so close. Can't you just punch the bird or something? Panel. An old maintenance access panel for cables and pipes under the pavement. Hmm. Open it up. I can't even think about what I have to do with that raven watching me. Alright, gotta get rid of the raven. Fucking raven. Car. It's been a long time since this has been driven. What a mess. A dirty, oily mess. Alright, what's in there? There's still one decent lead on the distributor, by the looks of it. Ugh, my hands are all covered in oil now. Alright, what do I have? Yeah, this, um... The UI being made of broken glass is really cool. I've never seen that in a game before. It really gets me into the mood of the, the piece. You know, everything's broken and exploded, so having the UI made out of what the world is made out of just totally makes sense. It's covered in oil, but probably still works. I should wipe the oil off my hands before I do anything else. Okay, do I have a rag? A corpse. Hmm. A soldier. He's been dead for a long time. Is that... Am I actually seeing my reflection in the jars? Holy crap. I had no idea the adventure... What is it called? The Adventure Game Studio Engine? I had no idea it was capable of that. I wonder if that's like some sort of a natively supported thing. Reflections? Or if it had to be like hacked in somehow. I don't know, but that's really cool. What is this? Something's popping up, but there's nothing. There's no text on it. Huh. A soldier. He's been dead for a long time. I gotta wipe my hands off. What was that? Rubble. Almost all of this place is rubble now. I should. What? Yeah. Okay. Gotta wipe my hands off. What do I wipe my hands off on? Ah! That's the painting! So this is exactly where the explosion happened. Or, I mean, you know, where the first game took place. Obviously the building was standing then, so that means a lot of time must have passed. Pump. Painting. A weathered old print of a famous painting. A little creepy, actually. Alright, where the hell's a rag? 
I heard that this one has a little bit of pixel hunting, so I'm guessing it's probably kind of hidden. So I'm kind of just scanning everything. It's gotta be here. Oh, there it is. That's the rag. It's worn and tattered. Well, at least my hands are clean again. I now have a stick. I didn't even know I clicked on the branch. I meant to just move over here, but okay. Alright, well I have a lead. Uh, an oily rag and a stick. This branch came from... Uh, the branch this came from has been dead for a long time. Alright, anything else in here? Nope. Alright, well can I... Hit it with a stick. Thinking of throwing a stick at it. I'd rather not hurt it. Or are you just worried the Reaper will come and get you? That's not very funny. I was only teasing. There must be a peaceful way to get rid of it. Um. No need to do that. Can use those two together. Uh, can I open the panel? No, that's right. I need to get rid of the raven first. All right, let's take a look at the pump and the stuff over here. Corpse. Uh, looks like there's something in that pocket. Huh. An orange handkerchief. Still in pretty good condition. Sorry, fella, but I doubt you'll be needing this anytime soon. What did I just click on? It's quite heavy. What did I pick up? A board? Oh, rubble. A decent chunk of rubble. Uh, okay. Not sure what I'm going to be doing with that. Right, pump. Uh, Caligula wants this pumping water to the inner zone. Pity there's nothing for the outer areas yet. Hmm. I don't want that old thing. Pipe. That's where the water gets pumped through. Alright, well I can throw rubble at it, but I don't want to hurt it. So... the hell do I do? Attach a lead to the pump. I can't think about what I have to... alright. Now let me just try and throw the rubble at it. Or they not hurt it. All right. I can't get this bird to leave. Have you tried poking it? You want me to touch a creature that can summon the Reaper? Ah, oh, that's so cute. You're actually afraid of a bird. Just help me get rid of it, okay? We keep ravens away from our crop by putting up bright flags that flap in the breeze. Maybe you could try that? Hmm. Well, I have this, so let's do that. This feels stupid. What? Being afraid of a bird? Oh, hush you. <laughs> Easily scared? Wow. Huh. It actually worked. Well, fancy that. Now what? Now I'm going to try and get this pump working for Caligula. Such a wonderful name. I'm sure he's a great guy. Good old Caligula. Alright, so it's not working, right? Pump isn't powered up. I'll have to get power to it before I do anything else. Well, I have the lead, but I need a power source. Pipe. That's where the water gets pumped through. Alright, let's go over here. Open up that panel. The padlock is rusty and decayed, but I can't pull it off with my bare hands. Alright, bash it with rubble. Boom! The padlock splits right apart. I love it when adventure games have logical puzzles that totally make sense. 
This has seen better days. The rust has seized the gauge up. Alright, well, when you have rust, you use an oily rag. I've oiled the switch up now. Ooh! Seems to have worked. The current should be getting through to the pump now. How the hell do we even still have power? That's what I want to know. This place is exploded. Who's maintaining the power? Well, I guess just like this pump has been retrofitted, I guess, in, maybe they've got power up and running? Huh, there must be a wire missing. The power's getting here, but it's not making a full circuit. Well, you don't say. I don't want to mess with this while the current is live. Okay, fair enough. It's off again. Well, good thing I got it off. There, now it should be a complete circuit. Now let's turn her on, if you know what I mean. And what I mean is I'm gonna turn the panel on so that the pump has power. That's exactly what I mean. Seems to have worked. Cool. Seems a bit quiet. Uh, the pipe must have a split in it. That steam could be dangerous. I'd better fix it. Um, how am I going to fix that? The pipe... Yeah. Alright, can I turn it off? Okay, if you want to try and fix it while the steam is coming out, to be my guest. Oily rag. I should probably fiddle with it when it doesn't have scalding hot steam spraying out of it. Okay, so turn it off. Okay. How do I turn it off? Don't tell me I have to go back and turn off the power. I think I do. Alright, yeah. Can I use that on the clamp? Flag? Can I use that on the clamp? Nope. Rubble, I don't see how that's gonna work. Can I use that on the clamp? Alright, is there anything else here? Anything I could use. Anything else on the corpse? Best leave him in peace now. Alright, do you have anything, Jess? Why are you working for Caligula, anyway? I thought you hated him. I do, but he's promised vaccine if I work for him. You caught this damn plague, too? My sister. Oh, I'm sorry. I just hope I can get the vaccine in time. A plague. Hmm. Alright, anything else in here? Nope. Why don't you bash it apart? Wait, that's a fucking clamp? Are you kidding me? That group of one, two, three, like ten pixels on the ground? Okay. Yeah. I heard that this one has a bit of going back and forth. Uh, and pixel hunting. And that's definitely true. I mean, that's just kind of silly. But no matter, not a big deal. Too stiff to turn, it's pretty rusty. Alright, I know how to solve that. Some more oil. Oil the clamp. I should keep everything together. Alright, let's turn this baby back on.
done. Pump's all fixed. I should go and tell Jess and we'll head back. Pump's all fixed. Shall we head back? Sure, would you mind doing me a favor first? What's that? That painting on the wall over there. Could you get it down for me? You want that old thing? Yeah, it's pretty. It's just an old print. It's not even the original. But fine, I can get it for you. Why the hell would she want this? Alright, I guess just rip it, or... The painting actually creeps me out a little. Hey, another raven. God damn it. <laughs> Whoa, Wilson? Wilson? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I assume that's the... Yeah, that's the end. Wow, those were really creepy. Very dark. I like them. Small, effective, and creepy. The only problem with them was with this really with the second one and its overuse of pixel hunting and going back and forth, which just felt a bit silly, but other than that, they were really damn good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of The Rebirth and The Reaper.